knowledge. Remember, all this stuff is built overnight. Now, how do people inherit so much information overnight? These temples arrived pre-built, as if they were uh, picked, up, they were uh, literally picked up at IKEA and literally just built with a few instructions. It doesn't make sense unless you look at the myth and say, okay, you have a builder god who brings agriculture, uh, the husbandry of plants, uh, the, uh, the total understanding of the movements of the stars, uh, how the earth energy works, and the sacred geometry and the architecture that you have to build to maintain a civilized society. Uh, and that's how a civilizing influence is given to people. You have a story all around the world. So it begs the question how all this stuff really is. Um, if you actually look at the, uh, at the plan of the temple here, uh, it uh, actually shows that the uh, platform on which this uh, observatory stands is actually slightly misaligned to the base uh, platform below it. Um, this is at least 3,000 years old. So given that every astrological age uh, is 2,160 years, the shift between the two platforms is 3,220 years. That's two um, astrological ages. So you're talking at least 6,000 years already when the original temple on which that you can see here is built, and God knows what else is still under there. And the best part, going back to the uh, relationship between the place and the relationship to the land, is that so many of the, uh, the slits uh, in the building are defining certain astral alignments, but the one that they were really preoccupied by was Venus. Um, uh, again and again, the risings and the settings of Venus. And it's interesting, because when you measure the uh, rectangle on which the present building stands, it's slightly off, and if you do the measurement correctly, it's a four to three ratio, uh, which is also a musical ratio, but it also turns out to be the ratio that defines the orbit of the Earth relative to the orbit of Venus. It's a four to three ratio. So the platform on which this building stands is also defining the very thing that they were looking at predominantly in the sky, above all the other things that they were looking for in the heavens. Cool, isn't it?